Okay, so we have a MacBook Pro here that will chime, but does not show video internally or externally, and turns on. So, most likely what we need to do is try to sync this with the external monitor, so we press that and we still get nothing synced. So, what we're going to do is take the system apart and check it and see if there's a chipset issue. Most likely there probably is. Uh, so what we're going to do is take it apart, check it, and then go from there. Okay, one thing we need to remember when we redo this system is um, we have to take the temperature sensor off because that's what this is. It actually hooks up to the heat sink and makes sure that the uh, temperature is within uh, acceptable levels and it'll turn on and turn off the system. We also had to clean the old thermal compound off and get rid of the uh, lint. So um, what we're going to do is uh, clean these. Uh, of course we clean them with rubbing alcohol. Sometimes we use acetone and a toothbrush and it gets rid of it. And we have to make sure to keep these uh, positioners here because screws go through them. So we have to make sure that those are uh, still kept and we need to uh, clean these off. Then we can begin our reflow on our system. But as for right now, um, we're going to take the toothbrush and clean that off. Um, I don't think we really need to display any of that, but we could um, we just take and put it in the bucket and turn it to the side and clean it off with the brush and that keeps everything from uh, getting everywhere and it contains everything where it needs to be so we'll head to clean that and then we'll put it on the reflow unit to actually get it started to reflow alright so we've cleaned our chipsets off and everything's sitting on the uh, preheater base here to uh, heat itself up. So what we're going to do is allow this to actually get to temp. We're going to check our positioning before we do get to temp. And see that our chipsets line up. Um, now, another thing that we notice and uh, what we do is uh, we line everything up and heat these chipsets only. You heat that one, then you heat that one, but you never heat the CPU. Then in a different step, you reverse the board, heat this chipset up, and um, that'll redo your 3-in-1. So you have uh, he did here, he did here, and he did here. But you do not heat the CPU up. So what we're going to do is allow this to get to temp. We're going to position everything, which we have our position set. Um, as we've denoted in other videos, uh, the height and the positioning. And we just make sure that everything is done to spec the same way we always do. So we're going to let this get to... Uh, our preheated temperature and then we're going to um, turn our system on and reheat it. Now we can redo it with our uh, IR6500 but that's only if it doesn't run through the paces for our subsystem so uh, our smaller system here uh, is a manual system and this is our automated system that we use and we do reflow with this system the same way that we do with this one uh, the only issue is um, setup and configuration and time is longer for this one than for this one so uh, for quicker processes and for easier processes we just use this one but you can reflow with both and the profiles are still the same as the DV4 profile that we used before. So 
Uh, that DB4 profile that we denoted in a previous video is the same one that we use for pretty much every uh, video. Uh, with our whether it's with our IR6500 or our uh, T82 or 862 plus plus the same thing as every one of them okay so we put our MacBook together and we're going to push the power button and see what we get so we have the light here and we have a uh, backlight here and um, we see that the system's starting up. There's the scrolly, so let's see if it actually boots up. Most likely we're going to get a uh, boot on this system. Our user had stated that it would not go but in target mode. I believe that's what it was. So we're going to see if we can get it to uh, start and boot. Our experience with what we saw was you would turn it on and you wouldn't get anything. So we'll see if it'll actually boot a system. And the blue screen's a pretty good sign that uh, it is going to boot. At least that's my experience, so we're going to see what happens. Uh, we have a cursor there so that we know we have some kind of abstract there. So let's see if it'll actually go in. We have a color wheel for the cursor, and we have a top. Uh, finder bar and a bottom test bar so uh, most likely what we're seeing is that it's actually starting up uh, we're seeing that it's finding networks so we know that the wireless works and it looks like um, we have the files booting in so most likely everything looks like it's working perfectly fine so we're going to call this system complete uh, we're going to run it and let it do its burn in but uh, we don't have to videotape all that we'll just let everything do what it needs to do and then go from there so we're going to call this complete as for now